uh, Naval Air Station, Pensacola, the old stopping grounds, stomping grounds. Looks the same. Seems like 30 years ago. In 1, so I'm showing her where my. Uh, where I did some. There's two different spots out here where I was. I was at the clinic on this side, and I was at the uh, Blue Angels Clinic over at the field. That's where I wish they could take you out. I don't think I would be allowed to take you there. Because we were in a hangar. We were in the Blue Angels hangar upstairs. There it is. Health the Medical Clinic. There it is. Oh, that's cool, baby. That is cool, isn't it? Health Clinic Dental. Yeah, there was the dental on one end and medical on the other end. We used to park back here in the streets. You could park in the streets and I don't know what to do with now that they're all professional. I ain't going out there anyway, any of these doors. Or up in the alleys. Pretty neat, huh? Yeah. This place is nice. That's, is that the water running right there? Yeah, it's, it's <laughs> really nice. But, believe it or not, I don't know a lot of what went on in all the other buildings because I wasn't in this building long till I was sent over to the other side of the Blue Angels team, and uh, that's what we did, you know, everybody had their function, and, and I was uh, single to mingle and had a mountain bike, and that's what I did. I rode my bike everywhere. Yeah, we'll go around here in the water. This is so cool. That is cool. This is where, if I'm not mistaken, I told you I used to go fish on the edge of the thingy and uh, just catch those little silver fish. I don't know what they were. And I'd feed them to the birds that were standing next to me. I believe it was off of these walls right here. Yeah, that's cool. Oh, you want to get out and go look? Yeah. This is just a reminiscing video. If you find yourself bored, feel free to press 9 to get to it. Now we're out walking. This is us walking. Awesome! You could pull those little, you could pull little silverfish out of there, one at a time, over and over and over. Now this is a uh, the old Hero Five, so 
This can be a little more jumpy. I'll try to be a little more cautious with it since the 7 died. And I think we lost all our videos. Oh, that bird just crashed. This is so neat that this was your job, working there. Isn't it awesome? You can just see all this. Hey, this is it. That's why I'm trying to get the, uh, the next to the oldest offspring. Y'all know Gabe joined the Navy. I wasn't sure if I could make videos out here. So I Googled it, then I tried calling it, then I Googled it, and there's a bazillion NAS Pensacola videos on the tube, so I'm gonna just do it anyway. So, as I was looking at my phone, I realized Sherman Field is where I was. We did a little detour. Security's a little tighter than when I was here, and uh, I'm not gonna take any chances with the camera, so we avoided that little particular turn. Yeah, because back when I was here, it was kind of Okay, so we're going to go to the Aviation Museum. That's where I decided to go, and I'm trying to throw on the spot. This is where 
change of commands were and things like that. I know for our particular organization. I'm on the wrong side of the whole establishment. So this whole building is a museum? So they've been on this uh, National Flight again. The pilots we had to get cleared to fly all came through the hangar. Every one of them. There was all these young guys and everybody was young back then. But, you know, and all it took was the slightest medical issue and they were, boom, it was over. setting people. I mean, if they had dental issues, we grounded them. The heart murmurs and things like that, that would definitely an out and anything else. But and that was what went on here. And overseas was a different story. That was... Graduation. That man had on a um, cap and gown. I've got to remember to hold this thing steady. Here we are. The Aviation Museum. Here we go. We're about to head in. Yes, yeah, sir, you too, man. So I guess we gotta go. We can get bags. I guess you don't have to pay anything. We'll we're in. I remember coming here. We were doing a change of command. And of course, it was closed. And uh, everything was... I forget how we did it. Of course, everything was still here, but there wasn't anyone in here but us setting up tables and chairs. And, Real moving pictures. Can you see that? Did you pay or oh yeah, I guess you had to pay. Oh. Is yours moving? No. But we need a. Spot. We need a. Uh, so when you, when they first built this place. This is my guess. They told the engineers, say, we want to be able to hang uh, airplanes <laughs> from the ceiling in a helicopter. I know it. We kind of jumped corners here real quick. That's a little buggy. That little truck, isn't that nice? medical. Look at the size of this plane. Do I? It's a 
What is it? It says the Navy's first um, aircraft to go over the Atlantic. That is big, isn't it? It's like a boat, though, with wings. It is a flying boat. <laughs> Nineteen nineteen Boeing F four B four. What's this cat's name? I forgot. Felix the cat, yes. So we're under the wing of this beast. Let's go look at this one. This one looks early. So this one's 1919? I think so, yeah. You know, on um, <laughs> that looks old. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? We're gonna go feed over there at the uh, WTYBC in a minute. That's welcome to your bar cafe. So this one is, if you can see that, I cannot. I do not see a date on there. So this is the tail wing to the beast across the Atlantic. Yeah, our next uh, little side road, we're going to drag all the offspring down here. F6C1 Hawk. Look at that. Some more people with graduation outfits on. Oh, they were also, huh? The They're also neat looking, aren't they? Just so unique. They... Oh, it's cut out on this side. We gotta go see. Which one look at now? I wonder who was doing all this stuff. I don't know. You wonder if the Navy just put them up. And I guess we could read the little uh, <laughs> pamphlet it may tell. You wonder if the Navy just put them up or the Marines put them up or somebody donated them or somebody got them and took them with them. That was on the ship. USS Pensacola ship's bell. This is, uh, that was an early catapult system, I guess.
This is a lot of aluminum. I had a barn I had re-roofed. Remember that? And the roof was aluminum. A big barn. Put your glasses back on. I didn't know if you were getting a lot of glare. So down there is where the ceremonies went on. Of course, we didn't get to sit down there. We would just to set up, move around stuff sometimes, and we'd either be hiding, I guess, up top. I don't really remember. Or somewhere else. See that little stumpy one? That looks like it wouldn't even fly, huh? I did. I, I, I need to show you out there sometime. Well, it's pr probably pretty light. I made one for my kids based on, and I don't remember his name. Goodness gracious. His, like, his first name and last name were the same, weren't they? Like Jojo. <laughs> so they, it was a, uh, a little project just to show them how to do things. And it was when Twilight was tiny. It was kind of for him. He was the one that really worked with me because EA Jr. was just, he was still wearing sealed underwear back then. And we'll be into you if the seal broke. She's looking up. I forgot his name. Nate Saint. Nate Saint. So look up Nate Saint. He had a... Yeah, I don't know a lot about airplanes. I don't know anything about airplanes. Other than look at these airplanes. But his was yellow. It wasn't like that. It was more like that. So I got some wood. We went out in the yard and started doing some cutting and whittling. It looks great. It's still, it's, it's still hanging up on the ceiling, huh? So, he is 13? Twilight is 13. Oh my, yeah, he will be 14 in a month. Unbelievable. So, he... I'm going to look at this prop right here. I even took a piece of wood. I don't know. I don't think it was boss. I don't even know where I got the piece of wood. And I had to carve it because I wanted the same angles. You know, so if it was going to be flying, it would be pulling air. Of course, it doesn't fly. It just hangs from the ceiling. So he was, how old was he, two when I did that? It's just hanging from the ceiling now with dust all over it. I'm guessing, but probably three or four. Probably three or four? I'm guessing. Yeah, that's uh. Yeah. Could you imagine if that was your job? I 
color that seat is. It looks like a child couldn't fit in there. They said teenagers. Huh? They were mostly teenagers who they put in these. The cramped confines of the ball turret was not for the faint of heart for those prone to claustrophobia. For down the barrels of those twin machine guns, youthful gunners, some still teenagers, were the first to stare down the enemy. And that's why we're free. You know, when I first decided I wanted to join the uh, military, I told you I wanted to be a, uh, I, it wasn't going to be the Navy, it was going to be the uh, Air Force. Because I wanted to run the booms for the refueling in the air. I'm thankful that didn't work out. You know, I don't know what I was thinking. I thought we were looking inside of an airplane. I did too. And if you uh, back up a little bit and look, this is not an airplane. <laughs> it's a submarine. I don't even think it's a submarine. And it may be. We need to go back around. Now we don't know what we're doing. <laughs> okay, so what is that? It's a watercraft. Okay, let's back up and look at it better. I didn't pay attention either. PBY Catalina flying boat. Okay. So you have to Google that one. Can you read that? No. training with SAR units, Japanese SAR units, search and rescue. Look at that. That is a bottom of a, help me out. Um, air balloon thing? Air balloon thing. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. Me too. Blimp? Blimp, yes. It would be neat to walk through here. With the real seasoned veteran who remembers all this stuff, you know it? Yeah. Where did we come in? Oh no, totally. There's, there's a vehicle. Tokyo Bay, PB2Y. 5R. I think that's where I came in. I've done that one already done that one. Yeah. And there's upstairs too.
40 Plymouth. I wonder if that one is that one. Looking at differences in the picture, and uh, this one's shinier. Well, it's been restored. That one has this little thing. Yeah, that one doesn't have an antenna on it. Yeah, nor does it have these little. Uh, I don't know what those are. Hobbies. Or and it doesn't have these little uh, yeah. fan-looking things. So maybe this is just a similar one. Look at this see through carrier. Yeah, let's go around and see which one this is. If you want to. I don't know how well you can see that. Probably not at all. CV thirty three. I went out on a carrier one day. <laughs> family fun day. This is a family day. If you'd never been on an aircraft carrier, you got to go out. It was here, it was in Pensacola. I don't remember which one it was. It was about to be decommissioned not long after that. But I don't remember. Oh, there's videos on that one, a video on that one back there talking about how they went about restoring it and everything. Oh, it's a Look at that thing. That is neat. MK-66. Look at the little tracks. Killer Cooler, The Art of War. I don't want to read this. Do you want to read this? Read it with me. That's a bridge. Yeah, it's a bridge. Trench So it was...
Hmm. Yeah, it's... yeah, you could see her dad holding her in front of the coop in the fridge when she's looking Look at that. That says it's a shrapnel hole from a bomb carried by a Jap suicide plane. It's at Saratoga in 1945. It's getting a little busier, isn't it? Yeah. We're gonna go check out the uh, museum, and I guess we'll move on. Yeah, shop around. Okay, we're out. I want to show you what we got. What she got? Oops. There's. She got a hat. Hat. And a blouse. I like it. I was gonna record in there, but the uh, the music was pretty loud, so we opted out. Okay, we're gonna go up here and look upstairs now. I'm looking for food, but I want to show you this a little more. You got a hit and miss engine. I always want one of those. You can get a little hit and miss engine like that. Some of them are tiny, but they're kind of expensive. I think we're gonna try the little cafe. Yeah, the little cafe. It smells good. Then we'll go upstairs and play. Okay, we fed. I want to look at this one more time, then we're gone. Oh, it's just kind of idea. If you watch my watch, if you look at my Instagram or Facebook, oh, we may not be down. We may go up over there first. Okay, we're going to the, the Sherman Field ladder thing over here. I believe the uh, this is the five camera that I'm using. I know I've said that 15 times. It's going to be louder and crackle and pop. And everything. I'm not sure why it does that. Let's go. Do the simulator. Are you with him? Oh, the Blue Angels thing? Uh, okay, if you want to. Oh, okay. And Al, are y'all with the group? You can come watch him on my little TV if you want to. Let's 
get a better view. This is where we came in. Oh, here's one you can sit in. You want to go look at that one? I think it's cool, isn't it? I'm sinking. Is it comfy? <laughs> We're hung in, in baskets on the side of the C-130 inside going to uh, Okinawa. So what is that? I guess I can read it. That's an early... That's a training. World War II in Korea. had a bunch of food. <laughs> I can hear the kids. So this is the uh, simulator alley. You're not gonna try it? I just hate. <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna do it either. Try it, but there's another part of me that does not. Uh, that one? The part of me that doesn't really want to sit down and do anything. You can get in there. It's probably easier to fly this than it is to drive a Belarus tractor. <laughs> I don't know anybody who watches other than Paul in Texas who probably gets that or knows the truth behind it if he's ever driven a Belarus tractor. That's about what the cockpit of a Belarus tractor looks like. There are more knobs and buttons and levers on the big one I drove once. I think that's one of the qualifications now to fly in the Navy. If you can drive a... Uh... Not true, it was an older Belarus, so maybe that was the difference.
and nothing was in English on it, which isn't, you know, people from Belarus's fault. It's the people who brought it over and put it on the, who sold it. Hey, there we are. I went in shorts. <clears throat> this is for you engineers out there. like to drive trains and also for those of you who like building things that is amazing isn't it it's amazing that somebody said okay well if this goes up and down and this this will need to turn like that Oh, that's pretty cool. It is cool. <clears throat> okay, here's other buttons over here. Let's go push them. <laughs> oh, the fun is up there. It's so bright. You gotta start at the beginning. Intake, compression, combustion, power, exhaust. Fuel the fire, man. Car, run through the fire. Yeah, they're getting ready to have a pretty big ceremony down there. So I think we're done now. So this is the grand finale. There's the cafe below. It was good. How much was it? I got a ham sandwich and you got a, uh, what'd you get, a ham sandwich? Yes. They're like, Kid size ham sandwich, they're pretty small. How much was it? $22. $22? Not bad. Because when you walk in these doors, it's free. Oh, yeah, that's, that's a good thing to point out. I can come here and it's free. Maybe more than you wanted to see, but if that's true, you wouldn't still be here. Thanks for watching my video. We're done. We are leaving the museum. New York, New York. Thanks for watching my videos. Where's our wagon?